Okay, so here are a couple of example problems on 3-1 form K. Um, number 18, a student drew a square pyramid. Uh, what a square pyramid looks like is this. You basically um, draw it like a square, and then you put a little dot somewhere, like up here, and then you connect every point. So that's how I draw it. Um, she said that the lines forming the sides of the square base are skewed to the lines forming the triangular um, sides. And we want to explain the uh, why that's wrong, basically explain the error. So um, what she's talking about is like this as an example, um, skew to this one. And it's not because they intersect. They intersect, um, so they can't be skew. They intersect so they can't be skewed. Okay, number 19, draw a three-dimensional figure with at least one pair of parallel planes, two pairs of parallel lines, and three pairs of skew lines. Um, so on this, the easiest way, I'm going to draw a rectangular prism for this, but the easiest way to draw that would be just draw a rectangle like that, and then draw a rectangle the same size that's a little bit to the right or left, kind of like that. Yeah, and then connect top to top, bottom to bottom, side to side, yeah. And uh, that would fit all the criteria. I'm not going to bother um, marking more, but Parallel planes would be the top and bottom, the left and right, the front and the back. So it's got several of those. Uh, lots of parallel lines because all the vertical ones would be. And it says three pair of skew lines. Well, think about this one with that would be skew or that one or that one. So um, I guess let me um, darken this back one. So the back line with any on the front plane. So that's just an example. The back line that I darkened that's vertical uh, with anything that's on the front or on the right or the right side. Any questions about that? Okay. Um, number 20. Use the words lines and transversal to explain what makes an angle interior or exterior. And this is similar to your reflection that you have on 3-1. Um, Uh, you don't have to write that part, but um, interior angles are between the two lines. Interior angles are between the two lines intersected by the transversal. and exterior or outside. Exterior or outside, period. Um, I could have kept writing and saying exterior angles are outside the two lines intersected by a transversal. But since I put so much for the first part, I think you can get it for the other. So the difference between the sentences, interior is between and exterior is on the outside. 
Interior angles are between two lines intersected by the transversal. Exterior are outside. Okay, number 21. Um, the map at the right shows the downtown area of a city. Name two pairs of locations that represent each type of angle. Alternate interior. So um, one of them would be the bank and the town hall because uh, they're on opposite sides and between the two lines. So bank and town hall. Um, another example would be um, the museum and the post office. Museum and post office. Okay, so basically these and these. So that's alternate interior. Now on same side interior, that'd be like things on the same side of the street, um, like post office and town hall. Post office and town hall. And then bank and museum. Bank and museum. Alternate exterior would be like the playing fields with the library. Playing field and the library. Um, so I guess I could have put comma to be like that, but oh well. Playing fields in the library. And then the other one is the museum and the high school. Museum and high school. So those would be alternate exterior. So they're further apart and they're on opposite sides. And for corresponding, um, think about the post office and the park because you're skipping the town hall. Post office and the park. Um, we can also say the library and the high school. There's several answers. Um, could have said um, the bank and the library. Could have also said um, the park and the high school. Uh, there's so many answers. You only have to pick two of them. Pick two. Park and the high school. So again, um, corresponding are the most popular ones because there's so many of them. Okay. Okay, so I think we did the hardest ones. Now you do the rest. You do the rest for homework. And also remember there's a math Excel due. So uh, these are due tomorrow.